Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Now today's program uh, we'll be doing is for a university. Now, in you know that in university you have students. Now the program is such that uh, in a, a particular university will be given a data of maybe uh, say uh, n students and we have to classify those students according to their marks okay so the range for classification is typically that uh, I'll be using will be uh, 0 to 29 will be one class 30 to 45 46 to 59 60 to 69 and uh, uh, 70 to 85 and 86 to 100 okay so these are my predefined classes now you can modify them if you want and uh, make them according to what you want so now let's jump into the code so i just created a class underscore st uh, uh, students dot c and i'll start writing our code now we'll uh, import your stdio for your input output now let's write down our main so now here we are dealing with classification of students in between range right and we'll be given input for say n number of students right so we don't know what the n is now how many students are studying in that university we need to find it out from the university so this input will be given to us by the uh, university staff so we'll just print a message uh, for the university staff and uh, 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 scan his input so let's do that okay so now we know that how many students uh, the uh, the university has now we need to take input for these number of students right so we need to run a continuous loop so that uh, we can have that many number of students so let's uh, uh, write a loop for that now here I've written a for loop now I declared a variable integer i which is the loop variable and we'll be continuing this loop and uh, for uh, from one to number or num from the number of students and we'll increment it by one now every time we'll take an input and we'll classify it right so we had certain classes now let's uh, I'll bring back the slide where we I, I just uh, gave the classification of the class so uh, let's uh, I'll just open that so these were the classes that we had from 0 to 29 30 to 45 and these so let's incorporate them in code now these I I'll be writing ifs for these I'll be writing this range we'll be writing that so let's go to that part now here before I write uh, the classes different cla to classify the students I need to first take the input from your university saying that what's the what is what are what is the marks of maybe the first student so I'll just display a message and take the input from the uh, university so now I just printed a message to enter the uh, marks of a student and I have just taken the input from the university so now after we have taken our input now we need to classify them in different classes right so I need to declare few variables for this so I just classified these grades in uh, F A to F grades now you can uh, look at the slabs for each grade now we'll just be putting this in FL so that we can uh, so, uh, so we can count the number of people lying in this different slabs so let's do that do that now first we'll need to declare few counter variables for different grades so I'll just declare from A to F counters so I'll declare so I just declared few counters that are from uh, for all grades I declare the counters and I've just comment uh, I've written a comment saying what range they actually specify now so now the next part that we need to do is we need to check in which range do they lie so we'll just check them using if else so let's write th that now if the marks are less than or equal to 29 we know that it is a F, F grade right so we'll just uh, increment the F counter by 1 so we'll write F counter plus plus now this will increment by 1 now the next condition we'll be checking is for E grade right that's between 30 and 45 so we'll just write another if for it now if the marks are in between 30 and 45 that means that he has got E grade right so we'll increment the E counter by 1 so like this I'll just uh, pause the video and I'll just write uh, the latest labs so that the video does not get too long so now I've just written all the ifs and else that are required for incrementing the counter now after we have done 
actually segregating this we need to display the message to the university saying that this many number of students have scored in between these many marks okay so we just need to write a print statement after we have done all this so i'll just quickly write down the print statement and i'll just explain you what uh, what each print statement will be doing now the print statement that i'll be writing will be actually outside the loop because i want them to be executed only after we have complete uh, co completed segregating our inputs right so i'll writing i'll be writing the print statement outside the for loop okay so i just wrote the uh, print statements for each of our labs uh, so i just printed the counter now we have completed our program let's uh, compile and check if we have any errors so let's compile to check if we have any errors okay actually i made a huge mistake this should be the symbols i have written it in wrong order it should be greater than and then equal to So now that I have rectified, let's compile again to see if we have further any errors. So we are done. So now we'll run the code to see the output. So let's run it. So now it's telling us to enter the number of students. So I'll just enter five. So for first student, I'll say he scored hundred marks. For the second student, I'll say he scored ten. For the third student, I'll say he scored fifty-five. Fourth student, eighty-eight, and for the last student, he scored seventy. So now it gave us the number uh, these students that are lying in different slabs. Now we know that we have a uh, number of students in different slabs. Now if we check, we get the proper output for what we wanted. So that's it for this code. I hope you have understood everything. Now, if you have any doubts, please comment in the uh, comment section, and uh, we'll solve your doubt very quickly. And if you have any uh, suggestions, do also write them in the comment section. And if you want any other code to be done, please let us know. We'll uh, try to post the video as soon as possible. And do subscribe to our channel, like our videos. Thank you.